This is the aircraft carrier Saratoga, 60,000 tons of American defense. Length, one-fifth of a mile. Height, as tall as a 25-story building. Offensive armament, 100 high-speed jet aircraft and missiles with nuclear and conventional warheads. Operating area, anywhere on the high seas. Speed, more than 600 miles in 24 hours. The Saratoga and her sister carriers, flanked by supporting cruisers, destroyers, and submarines, comprise the most versatile package of mobile power in the world, the Attack Carrier Task Force. The Attack Carrier Task Force, utilizing the Navy's complete family of missiles, can roam the vast oceans, which cover 70% of the Earth's surface, and is completely free from foreign jurisdiction. This permits the United States to assume her destined role as world leader and to project her military power to the troubled areas of the world as the international situation dictates. Aboard the USS Saratoga, President Eisenhower, Secretary of State Dulles, and Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Arleigh Burke, witness a demonstration of American naval power. That power which so greatly enhances our stature at the diplomatic conference table. That power which has helped prevent war on numerous occasions by the simple fact of its being near the scene of trouble. Offensively, the Navy task force can utilize high-speed jet bombers capable of carrying nuclear warheads. It may use missiles also carrying nuclear warheads. Guided missiles such as Regulus are launched effectively from carriers. Cruisers also have the capability. As well as submarines. Regulus 1 is operational and is presently carried by fleet units. Phenomenal success of the USS Nautilus and its nuclear propulsion, combined with the adaptation of submarines specifically as missile launching platforms, is heralded as one of the major advances in modern warfare. Already under construction are nuclear submarines designed to carry Polaris, the Navy's solid propellant, ready to fire, intermediate range ballistic missile which can be launched from anywhere along the coasts of the world's continents and strike targets deep inland. High-speed jet aircraft, such as the A3D Sky Warrior, capable of delivering a nuclear warhead deep into enemy territory from vantage points close to enemy borders, as well as the A4D Skyhawk, having the same capability, are catapulted with the ease and precision developed by teams of officers and men who know that the planes launched from these carrier decks could well be the first retaliation against any enemy offensive. They know, and any aggressor nation knows, that prior to an attack on the United States, each and every one of the widely dispersed mobile attack units must first be sought out and then destroyed lest the attacker's homeland be annihilated. Thereby, the Navy minimizes the threat of a surprise attack and draws fire away from our homeland. World War II carriers have been modernized and have served as proving grounds for innovations now incorporated in the attack carrier. Innovations such as the angled deck, which provides two runways. This makes possible simultaneous launchings and runway-like landing operations. Steam catapults, the 20th century counterpart of the ancient military machine, the ballista, which launches modern 70,000-pound bombers into flight in less than 300 feet. The mirror landing system, a milestone in flight safety. Pilot homes on a guide light reflected from mirror on flight deck. As long as the pilot keeps the red light or meatball centered in mirror, his plane is on proper glide path 
for safe approach to landing. Supersonic jets land at speeds up to 150 miles per hour and are brought to a smooth stop in a matter of feet by means of the powerful arresting gear. In addition to its aerial offensive capabilities, the versatile Navy Task Force maintains within itself a complete defense system. Radar-guided Terrier missiles are automatically loaded, trained, and fired in seconds after an enemy contact is made. supersonic surface-to-air Terrier missiles, Navy cruisers, such as the USS Boston and Canberra, can throw up an impenetrable wall of deadly accurate anti-aircraft missiles for a distance of 10 miles around the force to the altitudes of the highest flying planes. Fighter aircraft armed with electronically guided Sparrow or heat-seeking Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles stalk attacking enemy aircraft miles out from our forces and make short work of would-be attackers. The ever alert task force is constantly on guard against the threat posed by enemy submarines. New and improved sonar gear aids in submarine detection. Long-range anti-submarine aircraft armed with pattern running torpedoes or newly developed atomic depth charges search out and destroy submarines far from the task force. Submarines which escape aerial detection are stopped with new improved ahead thrown missiles. to operate all over the world. Here, an R3Y trade wind seaplane shows its multi-purpose versatility by refueling four operational carrier-based jets at once. These photo-equipped F9F Cougars are capable of photographing a 120-mile wide strip across a landmass as wide as the United States, or 75,000 square miles in less than four hours. Even as the President and his party aboard the Saratoga witness fleet maneuvers in the Atlantic Ocean, two Navy F-8U Crusaders are launched from the deck of the carrier Bonhomme Richard in the Pacific off the California coast. Mission? rendezvous with and reinforce friendly task unit in the Atlantic. Three hours and 28 minutes later, the Crusaders sweep by the bridge of the Saratoga in the Atlantic. One continent and 2,530 miles distant. The ocean-to-ocean -ocean capability of the United States Naval Forces. Here is the first aircraft to depart from a carrier in one ocean fly across the United States and land on a carrier in another ocean. Mission completed. The second crusader catches a wire and gracefully comes to rest aboard the Sarah. President Eisenhower congratulates the pilots on successful completion of another naval aviation first. This is your Navy today. This is a most potent package in America's arsenal of defense. This, the elusive, highly mobile Navy attack force. This force, whose exact location
cannot be determined in advance by ballistic missile computers. This force from which missiles or supersonic jet aircraft can operate day and night in all types of weather in any sector of the globe. This force which can exercise the full range of modern warfare from a timely showing of the flag through the launching of an all-out nuclear attack as the international situation dictates. In order to ensure protection to this country and to our freedom-loving allies.